Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe button, that would be awesome. Today, we have a lot to do, and I emphasize a lot to do. Today, we'll be doing a full suspension upgrade on Brian's 370Z, and also finally be installing the art pipes on his 370Z. Same thing we did with Ben's G37 sedan, so the Z is going to sound significantly better and also louder. Also, regarding my last video, I did take the Skyline out yesterday to test that the sway bar is in a significant difference. I believe I just need to tighten up the front just a tad bit more, but the chassis feels so much firmer and definitely well worth the money for the upgrade. Today, I will be bringing all my tools because like I said, we're doing suspension and exhaust work today at our boy Robbie's house. Also bringing my extended LCAs to Robbie so we can get these ball joints pressed in. Oh yeah, and also ordered GK Tech's drop knuckles the other day. So now I have almost every R chassis arm that GK Tech has produced. And with the drop knuckle, I will achieve 65 degrees more of steering lock. So we've so we got the focus drink, we got the ratchet wrenches. Also picked up icon tools from Harbor Freight. 1010 would recommend. Got some gross feet for these tight spaces. Got some extensions and again, bringing my own tools. Let's go. Daddy's home, period. Let's get it. Good morning, everybody. You still bring? Hey, as long as everything goes well. I know, me too. Don't know if you can see, but last night Brian and Ben PB blasted all the demon bolts and now the car is just smoking like crazy. We are at our destination. Thank you, Robbie, for letting us use the garage. Today's install, like I mentioned, we'll be doing BC coils, SPL suspension, camber arms, inner tie, not tie rods, toe arms in the rear, um, sway bars, and then the art pipes from Motordyne. Beautiful. We got the AC going. We got Big Bertha. Truck's looking good after our detail. Pretty. We got the Bronco. I love this thing. They're currently building a motor for it right now, but once it's done, it should be pushing around like five or 600 horsepower. This is the motor I was saying they're building for the Bronco? Yeah. Dang. What's this board out to? Uh, it's a 30 over, so it's four inch. Uh, it's 331. Hydraulic roller. Got a big. It's got a big cam in it. Yeah, it does. 297, 238, a 50 or 500 lift. Um, it's got a seven quarter oil pan, double roller. Um, billet pistons, billet crank. Yeah, things gonna be pretty gnarly. Brodex heads, poly sniper. No, you got you got plenty of parts to still everything, install. Yeah, everything ARP. Got pro gaskets. Got the pan off. Jeez. Allen oil pump, ARP, everything on it. That father son build, dude. Can't beat it. Here we got the head. Look at the valves on it. Dude, so clean. So right now, before I start, I'm just gonna go ahead and push in the ball joint to the extended LCA. 370 on jack stands. Robbie and Brian will be knocking out the front. I'll be knocking out the rear. Pretty straightforward. We'll take this bucket out. We're not gonna be using the spring anymore. Of course, take out the shock. This is where the coilover will be. I don't know if we are replacing this or not. This is the rear camber arm. Super pretty straightforward. You the splash Yeah. And for the front, should be pretty easy as well. One bucket and spring out. Go ahead and knock out the other side. Have to keep this at static height with the jack so we can take out this bottom bolt. Sorry about the noise. Got the rear all out. 
can't take too long. Now working on the front. Uh, 14, I think. Got the strut bar out. That's three up there. Free that bolt. Free this torsion bolt here. All right, so just got the rear camber arms out. These dinky steel things. Here we have the billet aluminum SPL arm, high quality made. Beautiful. So what we'll go ahead and do is just measure from bushing to bushing and try to adjust to stock length. Also, we have the eccentric lockout kit. Each one of these will go on the left and right side of each arm. So we also got the camber side, go left and right, and then the go arm side. Also, in terms of coilovers, Brian went with PC Racing. Shout out to the boys. Just went with the standard BR series. These are high quality coilovers that I will potentially be buying for the Skyline and or Fortune Autos. Really nice. It's for the rear. I think we're gonna put them in how they are and then adjust accordingly. All right. I'm gonna start my adjustment, rule of thumb. Get as even as possible. Go ahead and put like a screwdriver or a punch through. Shout out to the boys at SPL again. These are beautiful. I should have got this for the Skyline. What's nice about these are they have three levels of locking to guarantee safety. So we'll go ahead and adjust to the stock length and when we get the 370 aligned, they'll handle the rest. God damn, Brian. Sheesh. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our eccentric lockout kit on since there's no more adjustability in the stock bolts. SPL does supply you with new bolts and nut. These will go on the spherical end. You will utilize the stock bolt on the knuckle side. We'll put these spacers here. Right here, it's just fit like so, since there's no more adjustability, you'll do it on the outer part and then this side on the inner for both the camber and also the toe. Because you can see this indentation right here. Just got the SPL toe arms lined up, adjusted, and dialed in. Same with the passenger side. Go ahead and pop these puppies on and we'll go ahead and work on the strut. All right, so got the SPL camber and toe arm in. Adjusted the toe to the best of my abilities. Make sure that the bolts run downwards and that this have to adjust run central, like so. All right, so rear is almost done. We've got both the arms in, just gotta torque the bolts down, do specs, and just gotta get the rear coilover in. The boys already got the front. It's just this bottom bolts and knuckle here and you got the attachment here for your brake line of course you know the three bolts to the strut here and now we are working on or they are working on the sway bar here so by this guy there so now I'm going to take the rear panels off so I can get the rear coils in. And just got the BC coilover in. In terms of dampening, we went 20 clicks out of 36. In terms of height, we just raised it up an inch to where it was since 370Zs sit pretty low how they are. Of course, once the car's on the ground, we'll go ahead and adjust even more if need be. Fronts are almost done. Now Robbie and Brian are getting the sway bar in. Dude, that's beefy. Goodness gracious. Beefy bar for a beefy car. And then we're gonna grab food. We're gonna soak the bolts to the cats and then grab food, come back. We need to get a special tool or socket for the ball joints to push into the LCA. Do that and hopefully get these pipes on. Luna chonkers. Very nice. O2 sensor goes here. Well made design. 
You know, even the welds are good on that. Yeah, welds are really good on that. So, you know how it goes. There are times the charm, well, not charm, but third time doing this should be pretty straightforward. Just finished getting both of the cats off. I'm a victim of the demon bolt yet again. Now Robbie and I are bolting the motor dines back up. We'll triple check all the gaskets and the torque specs and we'll fire right up. All right, got the top bolts and bottom bolts tightened. Got the motor dine arc pipe in, bolted to the Y pipe. Triple checked all the work, got the O2 filters back in. Now we'll fire it up and test for leaks. So right now just finalizing the right height, adjusting a little bit of the toe by eye. Hopefully we did a decent job. Ooh, I forgot we did coilovers. All right, dude, we gotta drop that rear. I can fit my whole ass head in there. Bro, the fist test. It's like a black hole, dude. That's way right there. Look at, dude, like a whole, a whole Hank's hand. Honestly, not a bad drop though. Front's great. Rear definitely needs to be lowered. Finger's perfect. How do we have camera on the phone? Because it's natural. It's a controller on car. Well, I know. So what? 7K. Uno mas. Uno mas. Dos mas. All right, we got the ball joint pressed in, nice and bottomed out. Just gotta figure out how to get this protecting rubber over part of the bush in here. Next, we're just gonna finalize the right height. We're going to raise the front just a tad bit and lower the rear a tad bit. Our adjustments have been made. Raise the front up three quarters of an inch and lower the rear half an inch. All right, not bad. Not bad. back home everybody what a very long productive and successful day was exhaust install went incredibly well check for leaks everything was good the full exhaust sounds so much better and the car was just so much more responsive now especially with the downshifts and in terms of suspension everything is dialed in car is honestly probably one of the best cars that i've been in handling suspension wise which just makes me want to finish the Skyline suspension, which we have all over here. As you saw earlier, we got the ball joints pressed in into the extended LCAs. Still having a hard time getting this dust boot cover on, but I'll figure that out. And then we got the front of control arms and tension arms and the outer tie rods. 
And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have the GK Tech drop knuckles coming in the next two days, according to UPS. So Wednesday's my next day off, so I'll get all this stuff installed. And then when I have more time, I'm just gonna have um, Eden Customs, the local shop in my town, install my drop knuckles for me and then have everything aligned, dialed into my specs. Just wanna get like one, one and a half degrees of negative camera in the rear. And then up front, I wanna push for like negative five, maybe negative six, just to get that nice turn. And also I'll have 65 degrees more of wheel lock so the wheel will almost be horizontal to the ground but again i gotta check for all of my clearance with the underside of the car i might have to order different um steering rack spacers that are offsetted so the tie rod doesn't bind but we will see in time and again everybody thank you so so much for your continuous love and support and if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe button that would be awesome and remember eat my drive low we'll see you next video take care